So you say in this book, and also I know you talk about this a lot in The Artist's Way, which I absolutely love The Artist Way. I've read it twice now and I do my morning pages. I'm, I'm not so good at doing the dates as I know many people find that more challenging, but I have found the book so, so helpful. And of course, you know, The Artist's Way has helped millions of people unlock their creativity and do stuff that they want to do, you know, to get unblocked and to follow their hearts of creativity. And you say that in Seeking Wisdom, creativity is our route back to God or a higher power. If there are people out there listening to this now that don't feel creative, that just don't see themselves as creative beings, what would you say to them? Well, I would say to them, you are creative, you're just not in touch with it. So what I'd like you to do is try writing three longhand pages every morning, morning pages about absolutely anything, anything and everything that crosses your mind. And these are what we would call cloud thoughts in meditation. They just sort of come cruising in, and they don't have a logic because we jump topic to topic to topic. Uh, and what happens when people do morning pages is that they come in touch with a benevolent something. Uh, and again, this is where I would say, I'd call it a spiritual awakening, but you don't need to call it that. Uh, and what happens uh, is that they find themselves witnessed and guided and led. Uh, and what happens is that they begin to feel, oh, maybe I am a little bit creative. Uh, and they're gently coaxed into a view of themselves that's more positive. Yeah, I've, I've found the morning pages a very interesting concept. And I've always loved writing with a pen and just f sort of free flowing writing. But your your book, The Artist's Way, encouraged me so much because it's structured and you prescribe it as part of this creative course to write the three pages every single morning. And you do notice a lot about yourself. You know, sometimes it's lots of whinging and complaints and at other times it's more hopeful or there's gratitude in there. But it's, it's really interesting self-inventory. Why do you think it works so well? Why does it help people unlock their creativity? Well, I think that when we move our hand across the page, we end up with a handmade life. There's a direct connection between our hand and our heart. And I think that when we start to write, we are gently led. I think that it's powerful and it's hopeful and people find themselves encouraged. And again, I want to say the word coaxed, gently coaxed forward. Yeah, I I certainly feel that. And I really appreciate as I'm, you know, well, just before I'm about to start making my kids breakfast, I really like giving myself that time just for me to see what comes out of the pen, to see what happens. It's a really, it's a really lovely feeling. And the other part of the artist's way, famously, is the artist dates. As I said a moment ago, I haven't been as disciplined with that part of it. And it's kind of my personality, I guess, to uh, shun free time that doesn't have this you know, end result, because I can be a bit of a workaholic. And I think also perhaps within the structure of British culture, we go, oh, I haven't got time for fun or whatever it might be. We always think we've got to be working or achieving or doing something. Why are the artist dates so important? Well, I think, first of all, we should explain what they are. Yes. It's a once a week solo expedition to do something that enchants or interests you. In other words, it's a signed play. 
Uh, and I think it's very important. Uh, creativity experts will tell you that concentrate and then release is what's necessary. Uh, and so with morning pages, we're concentrating. And with artist dates, we're releasing. It's as if we have switched the dial over from send to receive. Uh, and we receive hunches, intuitions, guidance, uh, and you're cheating yourself if you're doing morning pages and you're not doing artist dates. So I want to yeah. encourage you to please try them. Uh, what I find happens is that people have a sense of a benevolent something. They feel a contact and they will say to me, Julia, I think I felt God. Uh, and they'll be quite amazed. And artist dates open a doorway to delight as we attempt to do something we might go a sense at a time like I'm going to take an artist date around my sense of smell so I go to a floral shop or a bakery uh, I'm going to take an artist date around my sense of taste so I go to an Italian restaurant <laughs> I'm going to take an artist date around my sense of touch so I go to a pet store and pet a beautiful bunny named George each one of these artist dates unlocks a sensory perception uh, and we become much more alive. So do they yeah. sound enticing to you yet? It does, totally. And I can't not do it now. Actual Julia Cameron has told me to do it. There's no way I'm getting out of it now. I have to do it. But it's um, it's so... It's so interesting because I think many people, myself massively included, don't allow time for just joy or pleasure, um, especially solo. We're probably, I guess it's seen as the norm to go out in a group or do an activity as a group. I will certainly prioritise that with my family. But on my own, I often think I haven't got time for that or even probably one layer deeper I don't deserve it I think many people don't see joy and fun solo as a priority and you know I think culture influences that and all sorts of things and I can see the magic there so I I promise you that I'm going to do it I promise well, you th that's a wonderful thing if I can just entice you that would be a good thing I'm definitely going to do it I'm definitely going to do it <laughs> 